Greetings and salutations! It is Sunday, June 28th, and oh, uh, oh, I'm still in Alaska time and I'm exhausted. I slept until 11.30, noon, something like that. Yeah, so I'm tired, but Alaska! Alaska was awesome. Alaska was amazing. Alaska had the best weather. Uh, did not rain, even in one of the ports we stopped in called Ketchikan, where apparently they get 13 to 15 feet of rain a year, we had no rain. It was kind of insane. Uh, we saw a whale. We saw some porpoises. We walked around three different ports. So the first, so we got on the ship on the 17th in the like late morning, early afternoon. And okay, first things first, I kind of briefly talked about my honeymoon cruise when we went on that. Um, check like December of 2013 for that video. And um, the food on this ship, the ship that we went on this time was way smaller. Um, it was called the Volendam, and it was a lot smaller. Was there was about I want to say 800 to 1,000 less people than the Staten Dam where we went on our we went to Mexico for our honeymoon, and the food was amazing, and there was more selection. So when we did the uh, Staten Dam for our honeymoon, um, it was it's kind of standard food there was just like a big row of buffet and then on the other side there was a big row of buffet and there was a salad bar and there was like an appetizer bar this place was amazing this this ship was amazing and I'm thinking it's be either because they've done a massive change in the last two years um, these cruises are more popular and so they have more variety or um, it was a smaller ship and thus they can do a little bit more specialized but there was an entire Italian pasta bar it was so good oh, thoughts on the Italian pasta bar yeah, okay. So, 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 so good. So they have like three different sauces. There was always a baked one with cheese, which obviously we didn't eat, but they had a marinara sauce that was delicious and they would you would pick from like four different types of pasta. They put it in a frying pan. They put the sauce in. They put whatever toppings you wanted. There was olives and capers and sun-dried tomatoes. Um, they also had Parmesan cheese and anchovies and like basil and um, onions and garlic and they'd fry it all up and they'd put it on a plate and they'd give it to you with some bread and it was so, 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 so good. So that was never a thing on the last time. So I had that for lunch, I think almost every day, it was amazing. But then on the other side of the buffet, there was a stir fry bar and I freaking love stir fries. Um, so they had like four or five different sauces with chicken and beef and um, there were some vegetarian ones a, uh, a few times, but I never, I always wanted pasta. I never wanted to stir fry. Um, but you could just get like a bowl of rice, which by the end of the cruise, when you're like so full of food, a bowl of rice is amazing. So there was that. Um, there was always like a humongous, a hum humongous, a humongous line just full of sushi, which was awesome. So we had sushi for lunch almost every day too. Um, they changed their veggie burgers. They used to have like actual legit veg veggie burgers and now they're now they're portobello mushrooms which are still delicious but still it's like eh. so i don't know i've always preferred veggie burgers over portobello mushrooms for the most part sometimes the mushroom is nice but burgers are generally way better um so yeah the food a plus way better than the last time we went alaska itself was really really pretty um so we left on the 17th and we started sailing that night towards Juneau. So the first, the second day was, uh, we were entirely at sea. We were going through, I think it was Tracy Arm. And so one side of the ship saw ocean and the other side saw the coast. And I think that time we saw coast. And then on the way back, we saw ocean because we go, it's basically, you just do a loop. Um, so that was our formal night. We celebrated my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary and it was very nice and very sweet. And it was a lot of fun. And the whole family got to be there, which was really, really great. There's 13 of us, uh, my grandparents, my mom with my dad, myself, and the husband, and then my next aunt with her husband, and then my the youngest one with her husband and their three boys. And it was we don't get to see them very often because they live in the States, and they're uh, a pastor at a church in a small town called McCleary in Washington, and they're just oh it was so good to see them all and the boys are a hoot they love they've kind of gotten into video games in the last few years and so we're like really cool to them which is really bizarre to me so that was really fun you and one of them talked video games i think every dinner because he really always wanted to sit by you yeah? yeah yeah so that was pretty fun um i played chess with a couple of them and yeah it was just it was a lot of fun um so we go and then we get to juno the next day and we walked around and juno was pretty nice um the it was bas basically like one big street and then it kind of branched off um for those of you that live in edmonton it was kind of like a white ave with that those kind of shops but very very 
touristy in that like every other store was a jewelry store like holy crap the jewelry stores on this trip it was ridiculous so the ships come in and there's there were two ships and then there were sorry there were four ships and one of them was the ship that we went on our honeymoon on i was like oh i know that ship so that was kind of cool um so we were walking around in juno and we just kind of explored we stopped at a popcorn place which was really fun we got salt and pepper sizzler and cinnamon bun popcorn so that was really really tasty and um yeah we just kind of walked around and the sh so the shops there was a, there was enough space between everything and the shops weren't too tall that you could like see the mountains and you could see part of the ocean if you walked for an, far, far enough down the street so that was pretty cool um and then the next day we got to skagway which was by far i think well, it was my from my favorite port, and I'm pretty sure it was yeah, it was yours as well. Um, so when you get off the <clears throat> ship at Skagway, in order to get to downtown, Skagway, it's like a tiny, tiny little town. Um, there was it was about a 15 and 20 minute walk. So you walked through this like marina where all these boats are docked, and you're just walking through mountains, and oh, it smelled so good, and it was beautiful. So that was great. And then you go there, and then again, for those of you who live in Edmonton, it was like Fort Edmonton. So it's like boardwalks and like like re it, it's meant to look like it was in like the early 1900s so there's a boardwalk and there's like people walking around with ball caps and there's like girls with like risque dresses it's just hilarious um and so that was really really fun and again all the freaking jewelry stores and we got introduced to the duke the duke was amazing and all we kept seeing signs around the shop make sure you pick up the duke only here the duke and it's like well what the hell is the duke and then in the front window of the shop was a mannequin from about just above the belly button to just above the knee so it's like this tall with a fur line jock strap that is the duke that was kind of weird it was creepy but really really funny um and then so we walked around there we went back and we got uh what kind of popcorn did we get that time caramel. kettle corn caramel we got caramel yeah we got caramel corn which was really really good we kind of made it our thing to get popcorn in every port and then the next night we were we stopped in glacier we left we stopped in we, we sailed around glacier bay that night um which was really really pretty you don't actually stop you just kind of go around in this little bay and apparently some of my family just saw like actual bits of the glacier break off and go crashing into the water but we right out our um right out our room window we could see like the really really big beautiful glacier and we walked around on deck and we saw them and it was really really pretty and then there was another day no then we stopped in ketchikan ketchikan was my least favorite port i'm sorry if you live in alaska and you're like a big fan of ketchikan but ketchikan was so freaking touristy there were two streets two streets where it was three shops and they were all jewelry stores all of them and it's like uh, how much jewelry do you need like three or four and then you have like competition in a town okay sure these are small towns i get that they're tourist traps but they're small towns why do you need 20 jewelry stores i don't understand this so there was that and then the ships were right here and the shops were right here and the shops were really tall and the ships were really tall so you couldn't really see any scenery unless you really went walking and I, by that point i was just done so we stopped at a popcorn store and we got kettle corn that time and yeah, we spent maybe 10, 15 minutes in that one. It was not my favorite. And then, what did we do after that? The next day was entirely at sea again. It was our second formal night where, oh, I could have killed my dad. So it's Father's Day. And he, I don't remember how this worked now. Well, maybe it wasn't Father's Day. No, it was, I'm pretty sure it was Father's Day. Anyway, so my dad goes to give a toast to all the fathers and then to my uncle who, he and my aunt didn't ever want a kid. So he says, the happy not to be a father's, which was really funny. And then he goes, and the father's to be, looks at my husband, sits down. And then everybody looks at me, cause yeah. So I went, no, 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 that no, no. And so I kept getting, oh, something you want to tell us? Something you want to tell us? No, no. So that got a little old. Um, but yeah, and then we were home pretty much. There was some more sailing stuff in between there, but it was, it was really nice. It was really fun. Um, it was really pretty. Uh, the shows in the evenings were okay. I wasn't too enthralled. We only went to one of them, and it was a juggler guy who was a comedian. And it was—I it, it, don't know—juggling isn't my thing, so I wasn't very enthralled by it. He was very funny. 
Um, very cheesy. A couple of the jokes were a little risque. And they, luckily, they went right over the kid's head. Um, he did some cool whip tricks. He juggled some swords. It was, I don't know, just not really my thing. Um, and then the only other funny thing that happened that we unfortunately weren't there for was uh, they did this marriage game. It was like the newlywed game, and they had a couple that were married for seven days. And they were an older couple. It was both second marriages for them. There was a couple that was married for 61 years. And then there were my parents. They've been married for almost 30 years, 28 years this December. So in order to get picked, um, they had to do this like Tarzan, Tarzan, he's our man thing. And then the guys had to do the Tarzan yell. And my dad decided that he was going to pick up my mom, throw her over his shoulder and then book it to the stage. So they got picked for their category. So the questions were like, uh, how does your wife say she wants sex? Where's the craziest place you want sex? Uh, what craziest place you've had sex? Um, what, what's the first thing your husband touches in the morning? Um, things like that. But one of them, oh, if, if you're on a desert island, which of your wife's family would you not want on there with you? And my mom's entire family is on this ship and most of them were in the audience, so that was hysterical. Um, but I think my favorite, and also horribly, was my dad was asked, what would you make, what on your wife would you make smaller and bigger? And bigger, he said her butt, which I just thought was hilarious, but smaller, he said all of her. And so my mom takes her chair apparently and just like moves it away from him. And I'm like, oh, dad, what are you doing? So that was funny. But they won. So they got a bottle of wine and a cookbook, which it's a really nice cookbook. And we bought, we bought it or I bought it um, on the last cruise that we took. And it's all the appetizers that Holland America does, which is really cool. So yeah, that was a thing. The cruise was amazing. Um, the view was amazing. The food was amazing. Um, we actually had really nice water. I didn't get sick. You were really tired like the last day. Mm -hmm. Like I think you were just just exhausted so you kind of were a little bit sick but you slept and then you were good and yeah we got on a plane and we got back here and we were home by 4 p.m i think 4 4 30 no about 4 on wednesday so it was great and yeah so glad to be home and yeah that's pretty much it it was a wonderful trip we took some pictures not a lot we got out in every port this time last time when we went on our honeymoon there were like six or seven stops and we did not want to get off the ship every time but this time we actually got out and we walked around the town it was really nice um but yeah it was fun so that's my story for where i've been the last like week and now i'm gonna go do some video games because i wasn't able to do really any video games on this ship. I have my DS and my iPad and that was it. But oh, Fallout Shelter. For those of you who are Fallout fans, there is an iPad coming soon to Android game called Fallout Shelter. You can play it offline and you build your own vault and it's amazing and go play it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow we start a new series. I am very, very excited and yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.